My name is Sham, and I'm currently a junior in UC Berkeley studying electrical engineering and computer science. Hi, my name is Barb Simpson. I'm a student at UC Berkeley. Um, I did my undergraduate at uh, University of Kansas, and I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. My name is Kyle Zampaglioni, and I'm a fourth year mechanical engineering student here at UC Berkeley. As a structural engineer, uh, one of the main things that I get to do is break stuff. So we have we're in a seismic zone and we have a lot of buildings and we don't really know how they behave in seismic situations. So we just apply the seismic forces in real life tests and then see how those buildings are damaged. So I'm pretty involved in the East community, you know, with the East classes and curriculum that I take every day to all the hackathons that I participate in and to all the summer internships that I do, you know, in Silicon Valley and software engineering. So why mechanical engineering? Well, for one thing, I've always loved bikes. Bikes are awesome. I really wanted to get more into the industry and find out more about that. And that's part of the reason I started the Human Powered Vehicle Competition Team here at Berkeley, which designs, builds, and races high-speed bikes. Apart from just EECS, I'm also heavily, heavily involved in the nonprofit sector. Uh, I'm currently the president of Habitat for Humanity UC Berkeley, and I'm also working as a consultant for the Berkeley Group. The project that I'm working for is funded by the National Science Foundation uh, and basically what we're looking at is vulnerabilities in older brace frames. I founded the Human Powered Vehicle team two years ago and last year we went to our first competition, the ASME Human Powered Vehicle Competition. We actually took second place in the endurance race in our first year, which was great. And the endurance race was actually the most widespread race of the entire competition. There were a lot of brace frames that were built in the 1980s that literally haven't been studied. We have no idea how they behave in a seismic event. Uh, so this project is basically to take these older brace frames that are still widely prevalent in areas like San Francisco and Los Angeles and look at how they deal with seismic events, whether they collapse almost immediately, whether there's fracture problems, uh, if it's a life safety issue. So this is a major concern a lot of today's engineers have with these, these older buildings. For this next summer, I'll actually be working at Apple uh, as a software engineer with the Applied Machine Learning Division. As for my long-term goals, they're honestly a lot more unclear. Um, you know, I've got this big interest in technology and engineering as a result of my EECS curriculum, but I'm also heavily involved with Habitat for Humanity and the Berkeley Group, which are social sector nonprofit organizations. So that's really led to another interest in nonprofits, social sector, and consulting as well. In my last semester at UC Berkeley, I still haven't made a final decision as what I'm going to do in the future. Um, I've applied to grad schools and I'm waiting to hear back or whether or not I'll go on to get my master's degree, but I've also applied to full-time jobs. I chose to come to UC Berkeley mainly because of the seismic program. Um, there's not many other universities where you have access to professionals that are literally right over the bay in San Francisco, um, as well as this great seismic community that, that is basically stationed in San Francisco, and a lot of it is stationed also in Berkeley. Berkeley Engineering has been a fantastic experience for me. I personally feel that without Human Power Vehicle, my experience in college would have been very different and I would not have the skill sets I have now. So aside from manufacturing and design, a very important skill I had to learn through the team is how to become an effective leader. And I feel that's something that will follow me throughout my life as I join the workforce. The classes, the rigor, the course loads, the technical chops and expertise is something that Berkeley has given me that no other school really can. It's truly, truly prepared me for the real world, you know. Um, and it's also made me extremely independent and self-sufficient. There's really no other school that'll do this for you. Um, UC Berkeley can be a challenging place at times. You know, you're not gonna be babied here, but you will grow from it, you will learn from it, and you will succeed through it. Uh, Berkeley is a huge school and it can be daunting about where to go to find the right resources, but for those looking to start their own organizations or to find their place in the Berkeley community, I encourage them to go out and try to find the help that they need. It may be huge, but everything you need is here if you just go and ask the right people. So put yourself out there. It's really important to ask questions and use all of the human resources that are available to you. So my advice for future students or prospective students is pretty much just Look to the professionals in your community, look to your professors, and ask them to give you those connections and give you those networks that can allow you to learn so much more. You are a product of your environment. Um, over the last three years in Berkeley, I've surrounded myself with a really cool group of friends who have made me more driven, more motivated, uh, more successful, and have really helped me every step along the way, you know, in whatever I want to do. 
And one of the reasons I wanted to come out to California is because of all the national parks. Um, I actually rock climb, and so when you come out here and you see places like Yosemite, the Sierras, uh, Sequoias, the Pinnacles, I could go on and give you an infinite list, but there are so many things to do outside and the rock climbing here is just incredible. I play a lot of tennis and soccer and I continue to play that throughout Berkeley, you know, whenever I get time on the weekends or, or even during the week sometimes if I really want to skip class. Um, I really like dogs. Um, my roommate and I actually bought a dog, well, yeah, we got a dog last semester and, you know, there's nothing quite the same as coming back after a long, difficult day and just holding your holding little puppy right here. So if it's not already obvious by my club and my interests, I'm very um, passionate about biking. I used to race for the Cal Cycling Team. I don't have a lot of time for that now, but I still go out and ride my bike whenever I can. Um, I used to be a professional yo-yoer, which, yo which sounds like a very strange hobby, but is actually a pretty big thing nowadays, so that was fun. And that's pretty much how I spend my free time, whether with friends, on the bike, or, you know, at home by myself. Basically. <laughs>